Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to work on the delete functionality for our articles. Depending on how long that takes, we may do the edit or we may do that in a separate video. But what we're going to do is we're going to have a delete button right here on for these articles. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Now, since we're doing a delete, it's very, very unsafe to have just a link to go to the delete functionality. So we actually need to have a form um, because we need to send a post request, not a get request. So let's go ahead and put a form in here. And we're going to give it an action of slash articles slash um, slash. Wait a minute. Yeah, slash delete slash and then we need the ID and we can get that with this right here. So we're going to put that right in that URL. All right. And then we're going to add a method of post. Okay, and then inside that form, all we want is uh, a submit button. So we're going to say input. I'm going to give it a class of BTN BTN dash danger to make it red. And then this is going to be a type submit. And then for the value, we'll just say delete. All right, so let's go ahead and just save that and then reload. I'm also going to give it a class. I'm going to give the form a class of D inline. So display inline, which is a bootstrap for class because we're going to have an edit button next to it. All right. So when this gets clicked, it's going to look in the controller for a delete. So let's go ahead and add that. Okay, so that's going to be request response. And then let's see what we're going to do here is we're going to call the model. We're going to say articles dot destroy. And we're going to pass in here which which article do we want to destroy? So ID and then remember how we have the ID in the URL that's being passed. We can access that with request dot params dot ID. So that's how we know which one to delete. And then we're going to run our execute. Okay, that'll take in a function. That function will take a possible error. We'll check for the error just like we did up here. Uh, and we'll also redirect. So I'm just going to copy that exact thing and paste that in. And then I just want to return false. Um, yeah, after that happens, let's just return false so nothing else happens. All right, so let's save and we'll go back here and let's reload and let's get rid of this thing here. There we go. So now we can delete articles. All right, so we did that quick enough. So I think we can do the edit functionality as well. So what I'll do is go back to list EJS. We're going to go right above the, the delete form that we just created and we're going to create a link to uh, to the edit page. One second. Yeah, so we're going to create an a tag right here. We'll say uh, class BTN and BTN primary and it's going to go to slash articles slash edit slash and then the ID just like we did with the delete. So we'll grab that, put that in there and that should do it for the text of the button. We'll just say edit reload and now we have our edit button. OK, now it's not going to it's not going to go to it, go anywhere because we haven't handled that yet. So let's go to our controller and let's add in edit. And this will take in request response. And all we're going to do here is do a res dot view. And we want to load in here. The edit view. OK, which we haven't actually created yet. Uh, but actually, you know what? We need to pass in the the current article so we can fill the form. We don't want a blank form. So let's actually uh, actually I'm going to get rid of it for now or I'll just cut it. And then we need to do articles dot and we're going to do find one because we only want one article and we want to get it by its ID. So we'll say ID. Remember, that's in the parameters so we can say request dot. Params.id. 
and let's see we want to just run our ex execute pass in a function okay so that's going to give us an error possible error and the result which i'm just going to call article sorry about that beeping guys i don't know the hell's texting me so much my mother she likes to she likes to send five words per text in a hundred texts so sorry about that I don't get it anyways um, I love you mom I know you watch these videos sometimes <laughs> so we're gonna uh, take the article here and uh, actually let's first check for the error so we'll just grab this and then what we'll do is load the view so res dot view we're gonna load the edit view and then we want to pass along an object with the article Okay, so we're going to go like that. That way, our form that we have in the edit will be, uh, we can add a value of the current data that's already in there. So let's save that and let's go to our views folder and create a new file called edit.ejs. Now the form is going to be identical to the add form. So what I'm going to do is just copy that whole template, that whole view, and paste it in edit. All right, and then we'll just change this right here in the breadcrumb to edit. We'll also change the title to edit article. Okay, so for the form, this is going to now go to article slash update, but we also want to pass along the ID. So let's see, we're going to get the ID by using our brackets here. So our EJS syntax article dot ID close that and then for the values of the form so for title we'll say value equals and let's put in our EJS so that's that and then we also want the body inside the text area change this to article dot body and let's save and now let's click on edit and now you can see we get article one if we go back and we go to edit article two, that'll show up. All right. So now we have that done. Now we just need to take care of the update because when we submit, it's going to go to articles slash update. So let's go back to the controller and we'll add in an update function. Hope I'm not going too fast for you guys. So request response and you can always, you know, rewatch this stuff if you didn't catch, you know, if you didn't catch everything the first time. Uh, let's see. So for update, we're going to grab the title and body of the form, just like we did with create. So I'm actually going to copy that. Actually, you know what? I'll just copy the whole create functionality just to save a little time we'll paste that in but instead of calling dot create we're gonna call dot update and then that just takes in another parameter right here with the new values okay so uh, actually you know what the values are gonna be this what we need is a parameter at first to, to know which one to update so we're gonna put in a set of curly braces and then a comma and we're gonna say we want to update the ID of request.params.id. Okay, now this request.params.id is coming from this right here, okay, from the URL, from this this ID parameter. All right. And let's see, we're going to just run that and we'll check for the error, then we'll redirect and we'll just return false. And that should do it. Let's save it. Let's go to articles and we'll change Brad's article to uh, we'll just say my article. And we'll say this is cool and submit. And now we get my article. If I click edit, you'll see this is cool. So the title and the body were both updated. All right. So that is our CRUD application, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, depending on you know how much you guys like this, uh, I might move along and, and look into authentication with Passport or maybe something like Auth0, some, some other solution, I don't know. Uh, and then I'll also look into deployment, probably with DigitalOcean. 
All right, so thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. If you're not, please leave a like if you liked this series, and I will see you next time. So if you guys really like my videos and you learn a lot from them and maybe you have a couple extra dollars to spare, check out my Patreon page. I'm working on creating special content for patrons. You also get special deals on future courses, and there's even an email support tier for all YouTube videos and projects. To learn more, visit patreon.com slash traversymedia.